another popular cowpea variety is red rippers and as you can see these red rippers are already producing seed um, even though they're planted fairly late and uh, uh, they, they are very early maturity compared to the iron and clays that means it has advantages and disadvantages one is that we can produce the seed more locally we don't have the freight cost on them like we do the iron and clay which are grown in the deep south um, the red rippers also seem to get out of the ground and grow faster initially than the iron and clays a little more aggressive out of the gate um, so if you have a short growing window um, the the red rippers will usually outperform the iron and clays it's when you have a longer window uh, where the iron and clays really tend to dominate um, another place where red ripper cowpeas have a real advantage is in uh, wildlife food plots that are designed for upland game birds um, all these pods will open up shatter seed on the ground it's about 24 percent protein seed very high protein seed that uh, game birds really like um, in fact a lot of animals really like these seeds uh, high protein uh, unlike a lot of other legumes they don't have any uh, digestion inhibiting compounds uh, no lectins or uh, uh, trypsin inhibitors like for example soybeans have or a lot of your other beans these don't need cooked to become digestible so this is a uh, used as a human food it's also uh, used for wildlife food and it's a great pasture crop as well now another summer annual legume that that's very similar to the cowpeas is mung beans and mung beans they, they look fairly similar to soybeans but they're closer related to the cowpeas um, they are one of the main advantages that mung beans have I guess a couple that come to mind one is they're very cheap to plant compared to your other summer annual legumes and a lot of that is because the seeds if you look at the seeds on these things have a very high seed count per pound it just takes 20 pounds as a full seeding rate if you look at the size of these seeds compared to the cowpeas there's quite a little difference in seed size between these red cowpea seeds and the mung beans and uh, several several times the number of seeds per pound in the mung beans as what we have in the cowpeas so uh, and they're about the same cost per pound and so you uh, per acre cost you're, you're quite a bit less on the mung beans they do mature early so their growth period is not as great one other advantage mung beans have is that cowpeas the leaves have almost a bit of a uh, strange odor that uh, grazing animals a lot of times don't they're unfamiliar with it um, it smells funny they don't want to eat it the mung beans smell just fine and so these are more palatable especially initially to grazing animals I kind of like to put some mung beans in with my cowpeas when I'm looking for pasture I figure this is like the gateway legume the one they try first it gets them hooked on the harder stuff the cowpeas so there's some advantages to uh, all of these different uh, summer annual legumes and uh, uh, that's why uh, we like diversity put some of each in and uh, spread your risk around.